Hi fellow artists and crafters, welcome to my channel. If you're wanting to know how to create a beautiful, easy sunset painting, you've come to the right place. This is a paint night experience that's free and from the comfort of your own home. I'm Christina Jewell, artist at Acrylic Art Jewel and your sunset painting teacher today. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post more videos like this. To get started, the supplies that you'll need are yellow, orange, red, and black paint, a few brushes, and a canvas. Today I will be using Brilliant Yellow and Deep Yellow from Artist Loft. I will be using Cadmium Orange Hue and Cadmium Red Hue from Basics. And again from Artist Loft, Deep Red and Black. The brushes I will be using are a number four Artist Loft flat brush, a number six round brush from Artist Loft as well, and this one is a petite round brush and it's going to be the smallest brush that you have and that's a 12 over 0. Then I'll just be using a small 5 by 7 canvas board. So pause this video, go grab your supplies and paint with me. I generally start with the lightest yellow paint first this is where the sun is behind the clouds or where the last or first light is. So leave a little bit of a gap for where your mountains are going to go. And the reason you do this is because you want your yellow to be really bright. And if you'd start with the black, it would be kind of muddled. You'd have to wait until it dries and you'd have to go over it anyways. So you don't want a straight line right here. So I just did a little bit of a dip right there in the yellow and that's because you want a dip in where your mountains will be. So go ahead and grab your next color, whether that be the deep yellow or your orange, if you're only using yellow, orange, and red, and just keep blending that in there. You're going to go back and forth across the canvas until it's really nice and smooth. You don't want to have any thick, wet streaks in it. You want to really blend it in. And you don't want too much paint. Just enough to cover the area that you're, you're doing right now. Go ahead and grab your next color. And what you don't want is a stark line like I have right here. You want to keep going over that line until there's a bit of a gradient. So that's still too much of a line. So I'm blending it down into the yellow, going, going back up into the orange, and blending it back down into the yellow. And you don't want to go up and down you want to make sure you're continuing to go side to side. Make sure you're getting sides here. Grab your next color. And continue to blend, blend, blend. Don't forget to touch up those sides. If you, with, the, with the board that I'm using right here, I do want to touch those sides up. But when I'm doing a gallery wrapped canvas, I prefer to paint all the way around with black after I'm finished. So it really just depends on what you're interested in doing. But go ahead and grab that, the darkest red that you have and go ahead and get to that.
And with the darker colors, you're gonna have a lot more white that's kind of seeping through. So adding more layers of that just at the top there. And you're gonna very lightly blend that into the, the orange, very lightly. There's a little bit of white right there. You could kind of see through the canvas. So go ahead and touch that up. So that's that's good how it is. That's a pretty nice gradient. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the yellow and this that. I'm going to go over the very top here with that dark red again because when you have that second coat on there it just brings it really brings it out makes it makes it stand out but make sure you blend that so right now there's too much of a line smooth that line out. Grabbed a little bit more of the darker orange. And with a canvas this small, it does dry very quickly, so you can just go right over it. With a larger canvas, you're going to want a bit of drying time before you do a next coat over, over these. So 15, 20, 30 minutes, depending on the size of your canvas and the thickness that you're putting on there. If it's nice thin coats, it, it won't take long at all. If you're doing big thick coats, it will take 30 plus minutes to dry, even with acrylic, and acrylic is fast drying. So the more layers that you do on top, it, it just creates more shades of each of those colors, it, which brings out all the vibrancies of those colors. So you have some that's really vibrant, some that's not as vibrant, and that's how a real sky looks. You need to have those varying degrees of the colors. How's your guys' blending coming along? Let me know in the comments below how you guys is how you're feeling about the blending. So here I'm adding 
a little bit that is not fully blended and that's kind of giving it more of a cloud effect not too much I don't want to get crazy with it and just slightly and then here with the deep yellow the deep yellow really brings out a lot when you put it over top of the oranges and over top of the lighter yellows so I like bringing that in when I'm about finished with my painting So here I'm still using the deep yellow. You see how that looks kind of like a little bit, a little cloudy on top of the light yellow? I'm not going all the way across. I am leaving a little bit there, and that's where the lightest part of my sky is. So that's kind of where I'm having the sun be. I'll go ahead and touch up any little spots that may have white peeking through. All right, once you have finished your sky and you're satisfied, grab your black. Not too much. You can get too much down here, so make sure you're starting with a small amount. And get the whole bottom of the canvas done. Then you're going to kind of map out where your mountains are going to be and you can start kind of blocking those in. Make sure you're going a bit above where the yellow is in some areas. Obviously you, want, you don't want any white to be in the painting but make sure you're going a little up and a little down in areas. You don't, you don't just want triangular mountains. You don't want a straight line. And if you need help with this part, you can always look it up online, just a mountain, mountainscapes, and just, just for reference. So once you are about done with your mountains, you're going to map out where your silhouettes are going to be. You can do a cactus like, I, a cactus like I'm going to do today, or you can do a branch with birds or palm trees or, w or whatever you want, really. Oh, and you're going to do this with the smallest brush that you have.
So here I'm just mapping out where I want these to go. I like doing an off-center bigger one, just one that's a little bit bigger than the rest. And take your time with this. And make sure that you are starting small because you can always make it taller, you can always make it wider, but it is much harder to make it smaller. You don't want big black smudges on your, on your beautiful sky that you just did. So start small and build on it from there. You can definitely look up reference photos for cactus. And this is beautiful as is. It's you can stop here if you're happy with it. Or you can go ahead and add a bird. Or yeah, some a hawk or an owl or dove, whatever. And look up reference photos for sure on this one. You can do three little V's. You can make it a little more detailed with, with the detailed wings. But again, start small. You can always make it bigger. But making it smaller is a lot harder. I'm gonna zoom up here. You guys can see it a little bit better. And usually when I'm doing this, I bring it pretty close to my face. So it's a little bit harder to do it sitting, sitting on the table here. Super careful with the beak.
just going to give the tips of these wings a little more definition. All right, there it is. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And now that you've painted a painting, check out my video on how to back your painting. Now, I want to see these beauties, so tag me on Facebook or Instagram with a picture of your painting. My social links are in the description below, acrylic, art, jewel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.